Hello, welcome to my show, Olio. My name is Susan Rushton, and before I go any further, I need to, as always, explain what Olio means. <laughs> One definition it is, is that it's short for Oya Podrida, which is Spanish for rotten mole, which I just always get such a kick out of. It's a Spanish Portuguese dish, which has essentially everything in the world in it pork in all its iterations, sausage, pig's feet. What else? Uh, bacon, uh, as well as chicken, chickpeas, cabbage, carrots, beans, pig's ears, onions, garlic. As I said, everything in the world except Neapolitan ice cream and coleslaw. I was also thinking about figs, but didn't put that down. Anyway, that's one definition. Another definition is that oleo is what comes in between acts of a melodrama. So you might have somebody juggling, you might have somebody doing a song, you might have somebody doing a skit, and none of it has anything to do with anything else, and none of it has anything to do with the melodrama. So in other words, it's apples, oranges, and a monkey wrench. So welcome my monkey wrench. I have another addition to, to tell you about before I introduce my guests. We are, today we are using, this is the end of June 2017. We are using a camera that was donated by Auburn Host Lions. Raw! Thank you, Auburn Host Lions. This is generous of you, and we really appreciate it. It was Deborah Olszewski's idea, who is, you know, you know Deborah Olszewski. She's everywhere, like many of us. Um, she encouraged uh, Cody Hitchcock and general manager uh, Phil Jacques to apply for the Higgins Award, and the Auburn Host Lions gave the, uh, do, felt obligated, felt obliged, felt honored to uh, donate the cam the money for the camera or the camera, I'm not sure, uh, <laughs> to Auburn Community Television. Thank you very much. Okay, so today my guests are from and deeply involved with the Placer County Youth Commission. I have Corey Anonio, who is the advisor to the Placer County Youth Commission. Thank you, Cody. Corey, excuse me, um, <laughs> for joining us. Sure, good morning. And past commission president, Sean Wang. Hi. Congratulations. Thank Hello. You. And newly selected commissioner, Doris Romero. Thank you Welcome. for having me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased <laughs> to have you. Thank you. And, I don't remember how I learned about it, about the commission, but it seems, oh, look at this. A group that, that is a, com this commission, well, Corey, what does the commission do? The commission does a lot of things. Uh, first and foremost, it was established um, a little while ago, back in the year 2009, by District 3 uh, uh, Supervisor Jim Holmes. Uh, it came Jim Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing man, amazing man. Um, but two youth from Placer County approached him on some concerns in Placer County that are dealing with youth. Uh -huh. And uh, it was basically launched at that time. And it evolved and it's grown uh, to where it is uh, today. And, and when you say it's grown, what do you mean? Well, it, it started with just a couple commissioners, basically, and now we are up to 18 standing commissioners. Countywide. Countywide, representing various high schools and obviously local colleges throughout the, the Placer County. Um, and we also have, um, in addition to the commissioners, we have ambassadors uh, who serve a very similar role uh, <coughs> as do the commissioners, but uh, just not quite as um, involved. Uh, and when we do have matters that come to uh, the commission that we need to vote on, the ambassadors um, do not have a right to vote, but their voice is extremely important on gathering information and bringing their voice to the table. Okay, and the youth commission imply the 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 name of this organization, youth commission, implies that there are youth. It's a commission <laughs> of, of quote kids, but what is what is the the age like uh, the age range? Um, it's it's pretty diverse. Um, we have uh, high school freshmen around age of 14, 14, and we go up to the age of 21. Okay, and it's, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's an amazing um, 
process, it gives, and I think it's extremely important, it gives the youth of Placer County um, a voice. It gives them a forum to bring concerns uh, that they feel were important within their dynamic in their schools and their communities uh, and it gives them um, a form to uh, launch that. Okay. And they're actually an advisory board to the Placer County Board of Supervisors. So if there are certain concerns um, that they feel were important, dealing with policy change even, <coughs> they will uh, obviously vote on it as a commission and then they'll bring it forward to the uh, Board of Supervisors and make change within their communities. So, the, so let's see, Sean. Hmm. Do you, is it your opinion, is it your experience that the Board of Supervisors listens to this, <laughs> to the commission? Um, well, in my experience, we have pretty, like, really high regard from the Board of Supervisors. Um, they're always elated to see that there are people, like, in high school who are very interested in affecting change within their community. And I think it's great because the Placer County Youth Commission is kind of a sign of humility from the county because there are not a lot of, um, or I wouldn't think there are a lot of people out there who are high in government or have the power to affect change that would listen to youth. People, so. most of whom can't vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they think, wow, these people are so young, they're inexperienced. Um, they're naive, and, yeah, they don't the, know what they're doing. And their ideas don't matter, yeah. and which is clearly not the case because we have some of the most exceptional people I've you know, really ever met in my life in the commission, and <laughs> it's... I, I love this. Yeah, and they, they really do take us very seriously. They, they, we're able to, like, work with them as peers, you know, and that's really something that's super special about the commission and the things that we do in this county. Wow. Yeah. The commission is definitely, it it's is. an advisory board. So if there are concerns, um, concepts, ideas that the youth feel are important, they bring them to the Board of Supervisors uh, and advise them and make change. Great. So, all right, uh, Doris, mm -hmm. you have, uh, you're, you've just gotten on the board. I just got. <laughs> how, <laughs> how did you find out about it? Well, I've, I've always been involved in the community. Um, I started with Rotary, um, Auburn Sunset Rotary started three years back and I just, um, you know, I was introduced by my very own kindergarten teacher, um, <laughs> and so I started going to the meetings, and then I was like, well, I can't afford this. <laughs> but uh, thankfully, the president at the time, um, Sam Fraser, decided to take me on board, pay for my fees, and um, show me... This is me Rotary, Sunset Rotary? Yes. Okay. It showed me what true service above self is, and I just became involved, and then it was Sierra College, and... Um, you know, through that, that the, you the just community. wanted to keep going, and then I found this opportunity, and I couldn't, um, you couldn't walk away from it. You know. Okay, so how did you hear about uh, the commission? Um, a friend of mine um, introduced the the opportunity, um, and I thought about it, but I didn't really. Um, know what it was about until I saw a post on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> and then I read more about it and then I went on the page and I saw all the things that um, the, the past year had done with uh, mental health and for me I'm very concerned with homelessness and as we all know mental health and homelessness are very uh, connected. Well connected. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, I um, sent an application Got a call, a very pleasant call from Corey, and I got a. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was I was ecstatic. Um, and then, do you want to tell them about the um, two interviews? We actually had to do two interviews. <laughs> we did. Is that unusual? <laughs> there was a little com computer glitch. Oh so dear. The, so, the, so the time slots okay. um, weren't recognized as okay. as we would hope. Uh, uh -huh. So Doris actually did came. I was actually on my way out of the interview area I was actually held at Rockland Police Department and I was on my way out we closed up shop and I had my bag and I'm walking out and in comes walking doors uh. <laughs> I'm here for the interview I'm like oh and the rest of our panel were already dispersed and, mm. and went home for the evening so we kind of sat down and did a little impromptu interview um, and I was uh, extremely impressed uh, with her experience and her passion to make change uh, and I brought it back to the panelists I said we need to do another interview yeah. <laughs> oh gee Doris you were convinced at that moment <laughs> when you came in oh I missed it I know <laughs> <laughs> there, oh. 
oh well <laughs> but but you clearly sucked it up made it obvious that that you were a, a reasonable good person <laughs> and and uh, and this was not your fault <laughs> that's great uh, great for you because i don't know what i would have done <laughs> now i don't know what i would have done or how i would have I, I'm convinced I would have just stuttered all over myself, <laughs> um, and and I'm I'm grateful and impressed that that your your side um, took that under advisement and and paid attention to the to the glitch. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It, it worked out extremely well. So yeah. We're really impressed. Absolutely. So, what? So how it's a, I've I've heard mental health and I've heard homelessness. Um, I want to get back to those issues that the commission is is working on. But what about what 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 other uh, issues have 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 has the commission worked on lately? Uh, the commission's been very passionate on on many subject matters. Um, one that definitely comes to mind, and Sean can definitely elaborate more on this, uh, is the social host horns. Yeah. Oh well, yes, yes. <laughs> we talked about that earlier on. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Absolutely. thank you, Corey. <laughs> Absolutely, Sean. Yes. What about the social host ordinances? So, social host ordinances um, are pieces of legislation that are passed in order to basically deter um, underage alcohol abuse. And so, each city that oh, so, oh, I get it. Okay, yes. Yeah. So each. Um, uh, underage alcohol abuse at parties, at social yeah. events, basically, yeah. right? Um, and each city, you know, passes it in some different capacity. But we, as a commission, have taken it upon ourselves to go promote these and support them and advocate for them in different city council meetings. And currently, we're working on one right here in Auburn, which is super cool because it's been um, hi uh, positively re received by the, the um, city council, and we're seeing if we can move it forward uh, very soon. But it's, it's really one of the super important things that we do because it has, I think, one, um, it allows us to have experience in local government. Um, we do have a presence there. We get to speak to them and they you know, listen to what we have to say. And two, it's also because we care a lot about our, our friends and we don't want them to be hurt in you know, these yeah. accidents that happen because of underage drinking, like sexual assault or... Um, uh, car accidents yeah. or anything like that falling and off of balconies. And health and mm -hmm. yeah, and and it also makes clear, it seems to me, that one can have a good time, even if one doesn't get drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's something we stress a lot. Yes. Um, there are we go through and think about things like what can we do to promote these healthy activities. Um, Recently, we've worked with um, Auburn Hip Hop Congress to hold an event called uh, the Stand Up Get Down kind of thing. It was a uh, it was an art exhibit and kind of a dance, and it was directed towards um, youth from more disadvantaged uh, backgrounds. Uh -huh. And it w basically the the purpose here was to provide a safe space for them to be having fun, while like it. it giving them a place to do it and not have like drugs, the alcohol, that uh -huh. kind of influence there as well. Yeah. And it was just a really fun night. And that's, I think that's a really good reflection of the kinds of things that we hope to um, promote within our community. Yes, yes. I want to interrupt myself and us because I realized that I did not indicate how to get hold of the, um, the Youth Commission. If you are interested in being on the Youth Commission or learning more about the Youth Commission, search online for <laughs> Placer County Youth Commission. It has an, a, web, a web address, but, it, but it, it's, it, 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 it's ridiculously long. <laughs> There's lots of things to type um, and lots of things to click. But if you just search online for Placer County Youth Commission, you'll find it. Or you could contact Corey at 530-886-2811. Again, that's 530-886-2811, or you can search online for the Placer County Youth Commission. It's a, it's, <laughs> the more you learn, the more excited you get. Um, so, Doris, what, aside from mental health, mm -hmm. and aside from homelessness, and aside from the social host, ordinance, host ordinances, what, what, 
do you have other ideas that you'd like to bring to the commission? Other yes, I, I think one of my uh, priorities for um, the upcoming uh, year is, you know, involving uh, youth as much as possible and, um, you know, letting them know that they, as he mentioned, we have a voice. Um, and, you know, I, when I see this opportunity, I get excited and <laughs> I, I'm, I'm happy and I can't wait. And I want to see that on other people. I want to see that on my friends. You know, I want to, hey, let's go legislate together. You know, it's, it's that, um, I don't know. <laughs> yes. For me, it's, it brings me joy. But it, also because you're making a change and hopefully it's something for the better and for our community, for our, you know, Placer County, which, you know, I was uh, raised here and I have so much um, opportunities given to me through this community and I want to give back. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very grateful that I attended um, great schools with great mentors, teachers, coaches, um, and I just want to continue that legacy of what Placer County is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, what should a, a person, a, a, a parent, or a, a, um, a potential commissioner know about who, if, if, if somebody wants to be on the commission? Well, there's many elements, but if there's one or two things that come to mind is um, there's an innate passion uh, to not just care for oneself, but to, uh, like Doris and Sean both said, service uh, above self. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Th there's there's uh, something greater than that, and um, but it starts with yourself. It's it's putting value and treating yourself with respect, um, and once you come to terms with that, um, you evolve. And the next step past that evolution is to care for friends, family. Uh, and then as a natural byproduct from that procession is you want to care for your community. You yeah. want to see your, you want to see your community and your school thrive and, and, and yeah. evolve itself. So, okay. it, yeah, there's got to be something uh, internal that is driving them that, that's, um, that's greater than the self. And they realize that and collectively together with their peers, they can make some pretty amazing change. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. I also think it's, it's really um, in like that's super important and it's also hand in hand with the idea that it's going to be a lot of work sometimes. Um, there are millions. No, not sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, even <laughs> in the Youth Commission, it's a lot of work and there are millions and millions of people out there who dedicate their lives to public service. And this is really kind of one of the first opportunities that if you are one of those people or you're looking to be one of those people, it's one of the first opportunities that you get to really experience what that's like. And some, I think some people go into it with the idea that it's kind of like a fun buddy-buddy group mm -hmm. thing. And you know, sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it's a lot of fun. And, yes. um, I, I have fun doing it, yeah. right? But it's, hard work is not always fun. It doesn't need to be. And a lot of people don't really understand that, I feel like. And so that's, that's one of the big things that I would say you have to know. And when, when we were talking before we came up here, you guys get to, have to, are obligated to, are required to report to the Board of Supervisors <laughs> at, in public <laughs> at Board of Supervisors meetings in front of the Board of Supervisors as well as anyone attending a Board of Supervisors meeting. Tell us about that. Well, it's daunting. Like, you, you make it sound daunting. I mean, you know, it's... Did you say that? It sounds daunting. Yeah. It's, um, the annual report is something, it's, it's almost like a highlight reel of the things that we've done throughout the year. Um, we put together a report, like a page report, and I think this year was like 17 pages or something Whoa. like that. Whoa! Yeah. Just going through everything that we've done throughout the term, and then one term, one yeah, year, one, term, one, one fiscal year. year. Yeah, and yours was seventeen pages. About yeah, I think something like that, right, Corey? Pretty close. Yeah, a lot of projects. Mm -hmm. A lot of projects. Impactful projects. Yeah. What? A lot of impactful projects. Impactful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it's something really cool where every commissioner or all the commissioners kind of put in a little piece. It's written piece by piece by different people. And you kind of get to go through and be like, wow, I 
totally forgot we did this thing earlier this year. You know, this is so cool. And Not so, only did we do it, I did it. Yeah, like I was part of this <laughs> thing, right? That's really sweet. Yes. But, um, there was that, and then we give a little presentation to the Board of Supervisors, um, and they're busy. They're busy people. <laughs> so it's only like five minutes-ish. Yeah. Um, but we also get to, it's like a highlight reel, we recap everything that we've done throughout the year. And so it, I think it's, it's really cool to just be there and see that kind of thing happen um, because there's so many things, the year has been really so uh, impactful and there's so many things, but it's condensed into this thing. It's, it's really great. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of work and I have to commend Sean for all the work that he's done. Yes, thank you. He's yes. been an amazing president. Well, that. good. Good. Absolutely. And Doris, you're you're you've got a year ahead of you. I good. do. I it's making me so, <laughs> no, I'm I'm ready for the challenge. I yes. And and you you work full time as well? I do. Oh my. Well, okay. I have I have the Sierra College uh, financial aid office and uh, an internship at Bank of America, but We'll, we'll balance, we'll balance. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> wow. And a student, too. <laughs> yes. Wow. A service above self. And, <laughs> and, but, it, but this is teaching yourself a lot about mm -hmm. you, you and, and your community. Yes. And I think that's an extremely important point, Susan, that you're mentioning is it does, it gives, and Sean touched on it earlier, it gives um, the youth an opportunity to grow within themselves. They start the year, if they're new, not really knowing what to expect. But as the year kind of progresses forward, uh, they grow within themselves. They are challenged. Uh, and they, by the end of the year, I truly believe, and I haven't been on the job that long, um, but they are a uh, better version of themselves from when they started. They've learned tremendously, whether it's just through policy or maybe it's just confidence. Mm -hmm. knowing that I can do this. Mm -hmm. I can be the voice for my peers and go out there and make some amazing change within my school and community. Yeah. That's fabulous. It occurs to me that anybody watching would see grown-up people here. <laughs> yeah. um, and there are, how many 14-year-olds are, are on, the, on the commission this, this next year? Uh, there's probably, I want to say five or six. Okay. We have a total of 18 um, commissioners, commissioners okay. who were selected, but we also have 25 ambassadors. And several of those ambassadors, uh, usually, uh, not always, but um, it can be depending on experience, but the ambassadors are usually a little younger. So they come in, like I said, they don't um, How have do you find them? Uh, they apply. They, <laughs> to be they, ambassadors. They, yes. They, Specifically they, ambassadors. Um, some apply to be commissioners. Uh -huh. um, and like I said, depending on their age and their experience, we may feel that uh, they would be better off serving as an ambassador first just to see how um, the system is run, to see their um, older peers and um, how the system is governed. And um, to give them some confidence. Okay. Uh, and, um, and to learn about that process. And usually when they come back, they are a veteran. And they're, <laughs> yeah, okay, and they are, they're ready to roll their sleeves up and, um, and get to work. And, and not that they don't get to work as an ambassador, because they truly do. They, they do a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but just having that right do to more vote. Work. After, yeah, <laughs> yeah. More work. Yeah. It is, it's a lot of work. But like Sean was saying, uh, you have a lot of fun. Yeah. You have a lot of fun doing it. That gives you a sense of pride to know that I am the voice of my peers. Mm -hmm. And I am making some amazing change out there. Yeah. One more thing, I need to find out, uh, how much does this pay, being a commissioner? <laughs> well, Susan, it's, it's, it, this, is, this is, it is not a paying job. It is not. Okay, so that's, that's something I needed to make clear in case a 14-year-old or a 20-year-old was looking to make some money. <laughs> that's not how one, it, but it's certainly something one can put on a resume or a CV to say, this is what I've done. Absolutely, okay. and it does, and it's, it's more than this. We don't want it just to be about uh, college applications or, sure. or resumes. Um, we want it definitely to come from the inside, uh, something internal, something intrinsic that is really motivating uh, the youth to, to want to make uh, a change. Okay. It's starting possibly, like I said, with them, within themselves um, and how that translates into their family, friends, peers, and their schools and communities. Okay. It's a beautiful evolutionary process. Yes, absolutely. 
Well, if you want to learn more about the Placer County Youth Commission, search online for Placer County Youth Commission. There, I believe you can learn about being an ambassador. Absolutely. Yes. And you can certainly, you can find what it involves, wh who, who's involved, what, what you do, how to, how to apply. It is too late for 2017, 2018, but it, it, there are, the, the, the terms are staggered. Yeah, the terms are set for the commissioners, but we um, constantly throughout the year accept applications for ambassadors. Okay, okay. Absolutely. All right. So we encourage people to apply for, as an ambassador. Okay. And if you want to talk to Corey, uh, Placer County Health and Human Services, 530-886-2811. Colleagues, thank you very much for joining me. It's thank been you. a pleasure thank talking with you. Thank you for having you. us, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> it's been amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for watching.